Hi, welcome back to ODE YouTube channel. Today I'm here for another unboxing video. And it is a pen that came from China. I, I already have a similar model and I'll have a blue Victorinox knife to show this to you. So let's start. So this is a brand of which I already have three pens. And this will be the fourth one, slightly different from the previous, so nothing more inside. And let's, we have the pen here, we can see the darker part. Let's just cut it, trying not to spend lots of time on the unboxing. And you can see it here. There is a little animal there, a kangaroo. So it is a Kaigalu pen, it is blue, not as bright as this, but it is a blue pen. And so, this is the Kaigalu 316A. And what is this? This is the new version of the Kaigalu 316. And I have to say, the first, there are two main differences that I can see here. And those differences are three differences, maybe. Okay, one of the differences is that this one has the black, uh, this one has the, all the parts are of the same color. You have the same color here, the section and the top of the cap. I am used to older Kaigalu 316 pens with different, with with these parts in black. The other thing is this band that has this kind of nice work there. It is beautiful, I would say. And also is the weight. This pen is much lighter. But it is a, an interesting pen. There is no doubt about it. And the material is really beautiful. Now, let me just show it to you. I think this one can be fully disassembled. There are some videos online. I don't like to disassemble my pens, but I think you can take apart all these components. You can check uh, Doug Rathbun for these kind of videos because he always uh, disassembles his pens or he does it all the time. So you have here these. This is the Kaigalu 316. A, and the 316A is the 2021 version of the Kaigalu 316 of 2020. This is the, the version of 2020, which is uh, a version of the Kaigalu 316. The, let's call it the classical one, I don't know from when it is. So this is the yellow color, this is blue, I don't know if it has a special name, and this is the Tiger Eye. It is an interesting material. This one is quite heavy. This one has, I would say, almost the same weight, but what I can see from this older edition to this one is that the parts, the components are a little different and they seem to be a little bit better made. One thing that I notice is from the older one to this one, the transparency of that uh, end logo with the kangaroo is a little bit different. So, there are some differences. One of the differences of the weight is this part, it is full metal in these pens. So, I would say these, uh, these are of the same kind, although these were only released in three colors. A black and a kind of a pearl one and the tiger eye. This one in 2020 they were released in more colors and if you try to exchange the parts from this pen with this one they are not really interchangeable. Some of the threads they are not exact the same thing and this is the newer one which I think it is almost the same thing as that but with no metal on the end so it is a lighter pen not even on the cap on the end of the cap. It is lighter and it has a different band and you can see the tips of the pens are not black. And this pen is like this because it is inspired by the Parker 
do fold. It is the same size of a Parker Centennial do fold, not by this most recent version which has this large band, but uh, Parker used to have a version with this two ring and you can see it is the same kind and the, the idea of these is to have black section and you can see the pens are very very comparable and in this one they are not the the parts are almost the same but not that comparable about the nibs let me show you the nib of the older one and the newer one one has a medium nib the other one has a fine nib and the designs are a little bit different in the medium nib there is no kangaroo on the on the mother's pouch and on the fine nib there is a baby kangaroo there the Kaigalu, besides doing the 316, also made another pen that I showed to you recently in the video, which was the Kaigalu 356, and it is this pen. And what can we say about them? I would say they are roughly the same pen. They have the same nib, same nib size. They are made of the same way, but one has this flat top shape, the 316A, and the 356 has this other design, which is the cigar shape. So we can say this one has a Parker Dwarfold style, and this one has a Sailor style, Sailor Profit style or Montblanc, or we, we can't really say where a design is really belongs and I won't go into that kind of debate today but you can see they are different concepts if you ask me which one do you like I like this one I like this design a lot that is why I bought this one because it reminded me of Parker Dufold I already had some Parker Dufolds I didn't have the, this one when I bought this but I like the Parker do full design, so I got this one also. But because recently I saw that this was released, I bought it because I think it would be fun to have and to try. And there are sometimes pens, because they are not that expensive, that sometimes I find interesting to buy and to show here on the channel because they really are popular for viewers and so that's why I bought this one but if you ask me which one do you prefer I would prefer these but both materials are incredible actually I don't think you can say anything wrong about Kaigulu materials because they are always very beautiful resins with lots of depth. The only thing you can say about the three newer ones is that they are more on the transparent side, side than the older one, but that's just it. They are all very beautiful materials, in my opinion. So, this was the unboxing of the Kaigalu 316A, which I expect to have the same kind of writing experience as the other. And I see a little defect here, because on the metal there is that little bird that, that, that already catched my finger. So I have to file this down. Not nice to have that, so, but it's not an expensive pen, so sometimes these come with this kind of stuff. And it, it's a matter to you if you accept them, the, this kind of uh, quality control fails if you accept them for the price you're paying or not. I would say that for this kind of pen, I would accept it if I like it. No, I don't. That's why I mentioned it, but it may happen in one single uh, unit. Okay, this is enough. I will use the pen, I will 
try it, I will review it, I will make comparisons with the other versions, so on. And if you have any other ideas of any other videos, maybe some versus videos between these and some other pens, preferably that I already have in my collection, please let me know and I'll try to create interesting and useful content as far as my abilities for that go. So, this is all I had to show you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you soon in another video. Bye!